The NBA on Tuesday said it is investigating a video of Miami Heat center Myers Leonard using an anti-Semitic slur as he live streamed a video game on the streaming platform Twitch. In the video, Leonard can be heard cursing and using the slur. We just became aware of the video and are in the process of gathering more information. The NBA unequivocally condemns all forms of hate speech, spokesman Michael Bass said in a statement. A Heat spokesperson told the Sun Sentinel that the team is aware of the language used by Leonard and is reviewing the video. Leonard did not return a text message from the Washington Post. On Tuesday evening, he released a statement via social media. I am deeply sorry for using an anti-Semitic slur during a live stream yesterday, he wrote. While I didn't know what the word meant at the time, my ignorance about its history and how offensive it is to the Jewish community is absolutely not an excuse and I was just wrong. Leonard has played three games this season, he suffered a shoulder strain against the Washington Wizards on January 9. He underwent surgery later that month and is out for the season. A nine-year NBA veteran, Leonard is one of several players to frequent Twitch and has amassed around 69, 300 followers, using it to connect with fans in a less guarded manner as he plays Call of Duty, Warzone, and Red Dead Redemption 2. He spends much of his off-season streaming and is an investor in FaZe Clan, an esports organization that sponsors streamers on Twitch and YouTube and fields a professional Call of Duty team. Twitch is owned by Amazon, whose CEO, Jeff Bezos, also owns the Washington Post. Later Tuesday, FaZe Clan said in a statement posted to Twitter that it is cutting ties with Leonard. Two other gaming companies, Origin PC and SCUF Gaming, in business with Leonard also announced in identical statements that they have decided to cease our working relationship with Myers. Leonard told The Post last year that he was drawn to esports during a summit sponsored by the NBA Players Association that was focused on life after basketball, initially looking to learn about real estate ventures before turning his attention to an esports panel. My eyes lit up, he said. I knew what I wanted to do after basketball. Leonard drew headlines last year as the lone Heat player to stand during the playing of the national anthem when the NBA resumed its season in the Disney World bubble. He said he stood out of respect for family in the military, his brother served two tours in Afghanistan with the Marine Corps. He told the Associated Press that he and his wife would donate $100,000 to a fund that helps restore voting rights to Floridians leaving jails or prisons. I will continue to use my platform, my voice and my actions to show how much I care about the African-American culture and for everyone, he told the AP in August. I live my life to serve and impact others in a positive way.